Thank you, Deputy Speaker. As part of the Youth Voice in Parliament initiative, I'm pleased to read out a speech written by Isabella, an 18-year-old in my community who just finished her Year 12 exams. Best of luck, Isabella, for whatever comes next. Australia has the capacity to lead and inspire a future with renewable energy in alignment with the United Nations 2030 Sustainable Development Goals in transitioning away from fossil fuel industries. The change future generations will benefit from the most is change that is intersectional and informed. Change that accommodates the integration of fossil fuel industry workers and rural communities into new industry to equip and empower them. Change that educates current generations to make better choices about their consumption and carbon footprints. Change that holds corporations and governments accountable towards transparent and smart progress forward. So, as a young person, when I look at the way things were, I see decisive ignorance about climate change and stagnant policy. When I look at the way things are, I see young people across the world in my city protesting to summon government action towards this issue that undeniably affects us all. And finally, when I look at the way things could be, I am filled with a fragile hope that Australia takes the leap to change its attitude towards climate change. Thanks, Isabella, for your work and uh, congratulations to everyone who took part in this competition.